You're going to be showcasing the um, brush from Carscope. This is their tire dressing brush. And it says, apply dressing directly to brush and work into tire. Do not use with solvent tire dressings. Clean off residual product after use. If you guys want to scan this, it'll take you to their website. These are now available to uh, those of us in the, U in the U.S. They have a U.S. distributor. And um, now they have final pricing with shipping, which is a relatively more affordable than what they were when they first announced as a U.S. distributor. I'll post a link down below if you can, so you guys can, can check them out. Um, so what can I say about these here? Uh, I wasn't going to pick these up because when I first went onto their website, uh, I think the brush is $15 U.S. I had to double check. But then the shipping was like um, $18. And I was like, I'm not going to spend more. The shipping costs more than the brush, and I wanted to get at least two of them. And so then I was like, then I was like, I'm not gonna pay fifty dollars for two brushes. I was like, that's insane. Um, so then the, I waited a couple of weeks, and they recalculated their shipping cost, and it was more. I think it was like eight dollars now to ship the two brushes, which is more affordable. So we we'll get to the brush, and again, it's got the same type of thing. I started shooting for the other the other side, and I ran out of. The battery died on the on the GoPro, and so I put the replacement battery back in there. Uh, so I started already using this, but um, what I will say is the Carscope brush feels a lot softer from in terms of the bristles when you use it. Once you start putting product on there, it gets a little uh, little sticky, you know, more stiff. But the brush the uh, brushes initially, because I can't remember what these felt like after I initially used them. And it's been so long. Uh, I think once they get product in, they become a little bit stiffer. Uh, but um, this one doesn't feel as dense as these. Uh, so it does feel a bit softer. And so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be just using it with Carpro Pearl. Uh, we'll go ahead and use it. Uh, let me try it undiluted first. And then we'll switch it over to just coming straight out of the bottle. This is diluted one to one. And so I clean the tire with Carpro Retire. Still have just a bit left, and uh, it works pretty good to clean the tires. And then I came back with Tarix to remove some extra stuff that wasn't there. And then I did a panel wipe. This is going to be the best looking uh, spare tire that I mean we're going to get rid of this because this is my brother's old car. So let's see, undiluted one to one, Carpro Pearl. Yeah, just like the other brush, it goes on there just fine you can see that with the water-based tire dressing hit though you get excess uh, build up here so when you get this just work it in to the tire here uh, and if this is your first application of a uh, tire dressing like I mean if you don't your tires pretty dry it's gonna suck in whatever tire dressing you use anyway so we'll let the tire absorb this. This tire's never been dressed, so we'll see how this looks. But so far, so good. I mean, it applied just fine with this brush. Let me just move it over before I smash my finger there. I forgot this tire is not that big to rotate on here. So smash the pinky, pinky finger here what you get when you don't pay attention okay so I you know I'm cleaning the excess product off here because now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Carpro Pearl undiluted so let's put two stripes on there and see how this works out here so we'll just do this spot here So yeah, that works pretty good. You can just work it into the tire. And if you got these uh, the tread here, just work it up and down because you want to 
make sure you don't have product in here because then it's going to sling. Okay, so no problem with applying it once you have a thicker consistency product. I know people like using it with um, Gion Q2 tire. And it works fine with Gion Q2 tire. I just felt, for me, I felt that uh, Gion Q2 tire was a bit uh, tacky and, and sticky. And it didn't really go on very well with this type of brush. So just wipe it. So after, every, every time you use it, just go ahead and give it a quick wipe with a, a towel or something. If you want, you can rinse it out. Just go ahead and work it into the, a towel to get most of the product out of there. And then just store it. So again, you're not going to have problems with these water-based tire dressings uh, when you're applying it. So let's go. Okay, this is the OG tire one. And so I'm going to just go ahead and put some uh, Obsessed Garage tire dressing on this guy. Did I close this already? Yeah. So that's probably a little bit too much for the small section I'm going to apply it to, but. We'll just compare the application with both brushes. So again, it goes on real nice. With the water-based tire dressings, it, it, it still applies very well. It's just if you've the, got these little grooves But it gives you a nice, even application. I mean, is it better than the foam? Uh, I don't know, because I like the Tough Shine tire applicator in the foam. But you can see that works out pretty good. It gives a nice, even application. So if you want to just uh, use uh, one of these, you'll be just fine. I don't know if it's going to be up to you if you want to spend... Uh, $15 for the Carsco brush or if you want to spend you know just a few dollars for the the makeup brush completely up to you uh, I've been using these kind of just experimenting them I think they're they work very well I think they're good at least for low profile tires it works good if you have uh, big truck tires I think they'll still work but you're gonna be um, just working smaller sections and you're probably better off with a bigger brush so let me just move over. Let me try one more brush with a different tire dressing here. I'm just showing, showcasing you some of my, my favorite tire dressings here. And the other one is the Glass Parency tire dressing, which has the same consistency as the Obsessed Garage one. So if you guys are interested in, in um, you know, an alternative for the Obsessed Garage version, and you don't want to spend shipping on it, you can just get this one. Or, or Copper or Pearl. I'm pretty sure that this is the same product as the Obsessed Garage one, but I think I think uh, b and blends the Glass Parency one. But, I mean, They both work. Both brushes work. Just completely going to be up to you if you want to spend the extra money for the car scope one. Again, they they have to charge. They're making some. They have to charge a little extra to make some money off of them. And it's going to be completely up to you on which one to try. So uh, I think they worked out just fine. So I think you can be happy with either. Either, ver either uh, tire brush or either brush. Uh, you know, this is actually a makeup brush. The ones that I showcased before. The other one is the actual Carsco brush. And it's, again, it's going to be completely up to you if you want to try those. Or if you don't want to spend the extra money, just stick with the, the, ma the makeup brush here. And you'll be perfectly happy. But uh, 
overall, I think the car scope brush is good. And so if you have access to this, you can just go ahead and just buy it. I think this, the bristles are a softer versus, uh, compared to the ones that I bought off Amazon. And again, if you just want to pick up the, the car scope tire brush, I think that they're, um, they're really good. Uh, you're going to have to just play around with whether or not the um, Amazon or the makeup ones are just as good. Or if you want to just try the CarScope one, uh, they did say that these are are made differently uh, compared to the ones that um, the makeup ones. But um, overall, they they're pretty. They feel just as just the same in terms of you know build quality. You know the plastic out here. Actually, this is actually uh, the same piece here on the top. Very similar. So I don't know who makes this thing. Here, I'll just showcase these two side by side. I mean, they're, they're exactly the same in terms of what they look like. You get the nice Car Pro, I mean, a Car Scope logo on there. And the brushes look identically the same, just the colors are different. Uh, we'll see how durable these are over time. You know, I've uh, dropped these a couple times already. This little plastic knob on the top pops off. Uh, I suspect this will happen to the same thing with this one, but um, overall they're they're pretty good. I think they both work. You can kind of see that the size of this one is uh, flared out a bit. You can see it's got it's more it's flared out a bit further than the than the makeup brush. So again, completely up to you if you want to uh, try the CarScope one. I think they work. Uh, just as fine as the ones you get from Amazon here and it's going to be completely up to you if you want to spend the extra money and pick up the one that's got the the actual brand that actually brought these to the market or if you want to just get the cheapies and and be fine with that so completely up to you I think they both work out just fine they both give you a, a pretty even uh, application of product on there I'm looking at the car, the car pro one here so I think they all work out just fine. So I think if you're, you'll be perfectly happy uh, with with it. So here's the Car Pro side here, and you can see that it worked out just perfectly fine here. Uh, diluted one to one, and then of course undiluted. It worked. Looked like it gave a nice um, clean finish here, and you just come back, wipe it up. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say about these brushes. I just wanted to showcase it that they are available in the States now. I will post a link down below. And if you have any comments or questions on this brush, I'll go ahead and post them down below. And um, again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.